And these new warnings come as two more area districts plan to reopen today. Center School District in Kansas City will start classes all online today. And the Spring Hill School District will have in-person learning for elementary students and all virtual learning for middle and high school students. So we wanted to know, how does every district come to this decision, a difficult decision to be sure? 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us with those answers. Let's start with the Center School District. So Charlie, what did the superintendent tell you? Ray, it came down to data for the Center School District. The superintendent told me that she looked at the numbers of positive cases in the Kansas City area near the end of July, and she made that decision that she couldn't have children, students, staff, and teachers all back in buildings like the high school here behind me. So making the decision to go virtual to start the semester about a month before the scheduled start of the semester gave Center School District some time to get uh, everybody trained and ready to go, teachers in particular, ready for that virtual format. Originally, the Center School District was going to have a hybrid model model to start the school year. Now they're saying that hybrid model is phase two of their reopening procedures. We needed to pivot once we realized that numbers were not decreasing. In fact, the percentages were getting higher. Our original plan then became our phase two. So Dr. Cargyle says she will be keeping an eye on the data throughout the semester, and it is possible that they'll move into phase two at that hybrid uh, setup uh, sometime during the semester if the numbers support it. Lindsay and Ray. So Charlie, Spring Hill is the other district in our area going back to school today. How did they make their decision on whether to go virtual or in person? So that school district followed the recommendation that the Johnson County Health Department put out. The health department put out those gating criteria we've heard so much over the last month. And uh, that gating criteria said it's okay for elementary students to go back in person, but middle and high schoolers should be on uh, online only, remote learning. And so that's what Spring Hill is starting with today. All right, Charlie, thank you very much.